Well, the thing that I know is that all of us are going to have chain link fences. All of us. And sometimes, when you're behind the fence, it's actually a blessing. A couple of years ago, I went to a baseball game with a friend, and I was watching them warm up and get ready to play their game, and I was sitting in the bleachers, um, kind of on the front row, and there was a handicapped boy next to me. He was in a wheelchair, and I watched him for a minute and didn't think much of it. Well, I started to watch him more as the, re as the practice and the game was taking place, and he would watch each ball as it went through the sky and was caught by the other person, or as the bat hit it, he would watch each ball just with wonderment in his eyes. He would smile and look up and follow that ball. Well, at one point in the game, the pitcher threw the ball, and the batter missed, and the catcher missed, and the ball started to roll towards us, and directly for the boy in the wheelchair. And I looked over to see what he would do. He bent down with his right hand, and he put his hand on the ground, and acted like he was going to catch that ball because the ball was coming right towards him. I watched the ball come, and I watched his hand, and the ball in his hand never met. The ball met the fence, and it rolled away from him. But, and so I was curious to kind of see what his reaction would be. And I looked over and I remember that I was amazed at what he did. He pretended that he had that ball in his hand, he picked it up, and pretended to throw it with a great big smile on his face. And then he looked around at everyone and just smiled and felt like he really had just, you know, done something special. And I thought, what an amazing lesson that I learned that night from that boy. And it's been almost 20 years since I saw him do that. And I have related this story so many times in my life. And I've thought about the chain link fences that are sometimes put in our way. Um, and, and about that boy, he had something that I didn't have and I had something that he didn't have. have. He had a, a positive, wonderful attitude and he was able to see the good in things and to kind of insert himself in whatever way he could into situations. And I had my legs. And it was kind of a, you know, something that I didn't always realize what a blessing it was to have my legs and that I kind of wasn't held back because like in the way that he was because I have my legs and I could do things and then as I've gotten older and I've had experiences I've kind of wondered about the literal and the figurative you know chain link fences that we put up in our lives and sometimes these fences are put in front of us and we have nothing to do there's nothing we can control there's nothing we can do to move it and sometimes they're we put them up ourselves because maybe we feel insecure about something or don't want to insert ourselves or participate in something and I think back about um, experiences and one of the most um, meaningful things that's happened to me in the past couple of years is I gave birth to a little stillborn daughter and her name was Molly sorry <laughs> and I kind of felt like the boy in the wheelchair I felt like I was behind this chain link fence and I was watching everybody like everybody else's lives go on and they were just happy and they were playing the game and they were doing it well and I was stuck. I was behind the fence. I couldn't do anything about it and I was the girl who was in the back of the bleachers with my arms folded and mad for a while and that's okay. I think it's okay to be mad sometimes when things that are hard happen in your life and things that you don't have control of. But I thought about that boy even through this experience and I thought about his attitude and I thought about what he did and that I knew that my kids needed me to not just be mad and sit on the back of the bleachers. I knew that I needed to insert myself in whatever way I could. No, I didn't have a baby. My big kids were at school. I had an empty house and there was nothing I could do about it, but I could make the best of it. And so I started working on projects. I started doing everything that I could to fill up my time and keep busy. And I feel like I have grown so much as a person. Um, with that experience and sometimes well the thing that I know is that all of us are going to have chain link fences all of us and sometimes when you're behind the fence it's actually a blessing because you get to sit back you get to breathe you get to relax and sometimes you get to see things that other people don't see you get to feel things that other people don't feel and you get to know things that other people don't know and I know that the chain link fences in my life have been a blessing and I'm thankful for them and I hope that I can be the boy in the wheelchair 
that shows other people that it's okay. So hard things happen, it's okay, and you're gonna make it through. I just want you to know that you are strong and you can do it. And whether you're playing the game or you're sitting on the other side of the fence, things are gonna work out.